For those who are new, I am building a LEGO computer to play the game Snake, and today we will be taking a look at the screen itself. This is very intimidating, but I promise it is simple and easy to understand. Let's start by looking at a small section of just two channels. Okay, let me push this axle here, and whoa! A lot just happened. Let's try pushing the other one only halfway. Wow, now all the way. Since it's still a bit hard to understand what is happening, let's remove this carefully. So we are only looking at one channel. Ah, this is much easier to see how it works. At the core, we have a center axle which rotates the screen tile and connects to all the other ends. On the right three outputs, we have a rack and pinion converting the 180 degree rotation to linear movement over three studs. The left output is a bit different. It first goes through a handful of gears to change the output axis, and then some more to gear it down. This rotates an arm to move a gray ball pin, and the pin is then read by the screen reader in one of three distinct positions. Now, let's look at a screen tile. We need just three unique tiles to play a game of snake. A snake tile, a food tile, and a black empty space tile. If we rotate the tile to one end, it will become a snake tile. If we rotate it to the middle, it will become a food tile, and if we rotate it to the other end, it will become an empty space tile. Okay, now you should understand how this works, unless of course you skipped over it like a fucking loser. Now, that was just one channel. The screen will be made up of a hundred of these channels. These will form a 10x10 grid with a dynamic border that will make it visually a 12x12 grid. Fully assembled, this will be about 2.5 feet by 2.5 feet, and will be 6 feet long. That's about 762x762x1829 x millimeters for any bloody loonies out there. Now, there's one major part to make this work. That would be a 3 foot long metal technic axle. Except we will need 400 of these. Each is $24, and with a 25% bulk discount, that comes out to over $7,000. Just for the metal axles, not for any other part of the screen. Now you should go watch my other videos covering more of the computer. If you are particularly interested in helping fund this project, send some money my way on Patreon. You get some cool benefits too. Thank you for watching, and again, go watch some more of my videos on the computer. Here, I'll make it easy. And there you go. Click it.